Hi everybody and happy, happy Friday. We are always very happy when Friday rolls around. Um, I'm going to make for you tonight one of my favorite um, pies. I am the queen of tarts and I make savory pies. That is what I love to do. And tonight I'm going to make one of the favorites. Uh, everybody that tastes this freaks out over it. Um, this one and my crawfish pie are the two favorites. So. Um, I showed this one on Facebook in pictures and instructions, but I decided to do a video for you instead because I think you'll really you'll get more of the hang of it maybe. Okay, take a preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, and you're going to take a um, refrigerator uh, not refrigerator frozen pie crust. Okay, let it thaw for 10 minutes uh, to room temperature. Okay, then you're going to prick it all over with a fork, the bottom, and the sides, okay? Because you want to let the steam escape, you don't want it to bubble up. So we're going to prick it all over, sides and bottom, okay? Then what you're going to do is bake this in your 400 uh, degree preheated oven for 10 minutes and then take it out. I'll show you what you do next. Okay, while your crust is heating in the 400 degree oven for the 10 minutes, cook up some bacon really well and drain it on paper towels and then crumble it. Crumble it all up nice. Two or three pieces is plenty. I usually put about three because it shrinks down when you crumble it up. I mean when you uh, cook it well. It's got to be crisp, crispy. got to be crispy. So crumble that up nice and put it aside. You'll need it in a little while. Very nice. It smells so good. Bacon, not something that I eat very often. But it is such a good thing and it's really good in this recipe. This is Tinky's Wicked Little Jalapeno Pie, okay? It's a little labor intensive, but not terrible. And I'm sure you can all do it. So crumble that up and have that ready to go for later, okay? Also, while our um, crust is cooking uh, for the 10 minutes, you're going to chop up two jalapenos. Okay, I've already removed the pith and the seeds. Chop these up nice. Tomorrow, which is April 20th, is Record Store Day. So I hope you guys all support your local record stores tomorrow. Very fun day. Jalapenos are readily available in all the food stores now and farmers markets. Uh, very easy to find. And they're so delicious. Like I said, I take the pith and the seeds out of the ones that are going in the pie, but I'm going to leave the seeds in the, uh, the third pepper that we're going to chop for garnish, okay? Those will go right on top of the pie. So, okay, that's the, this is the jalapenos that we want for inside the pie. That's two whole jalapenos, pith removed and seeds removed, okay? Alrighty then. Third jalapeno is going to just be sliced in beautiful pieces for the, uh, as a garnish on top, so. I like to put a lucky 13, so I'll cut 13 slices from that jalapeno and have that ready for 
for our garnish on top. Um, I have the industrial timer on and I will, as soon as the pie is finished, I will take that out and show you what to do next. Okay guys, when you take your crust out of the oven for that 10 minutes, you're going to reduce the heat of the oven to 350, okay? Now while the crust is hot, which it is very, very hot right now, you're going to take um, it was a half a cup of um, cream cheese and put it in the hot crust and spread it around as best you can as it melts. It's better if it's a little bit room temperature, the cream cheese. So you're going to spread this all around the bottom, okay? Let it melt a little bit if it's hard to spread, okay? Spread it all around your bottom. <clears throat> okay guys, so spread your cream cheese as, as best you can and then sprinkle with the chopped jalapenos all over the cream cheese, okay? This is a delicious pot. I mean, you have to really love uh, jalapenos, obviously, but <laughs> it's really good. Fill that up nice with the jalapenos. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That is ready to roll. Now I'm going to show you what to do next. We have to go over to the stove, okay? Okay guys, into a small saucepan you want to put a half a cup of half and half. And a half a cup of heavy cream. Okay. Now what you're going to do with this is bring it to uh, just until a little bit of bubbles form around the edge. Uh, you do not want to boil this, okay? Just a couple of, just a little bit until, just till you see bubbles all around the edge, okay? So you're going to want to watch this really carefully because you do not want this to boil. So while we do that, we are drinking a uh, something called Estrella, Estrella Dam, <laughs> and this is a brew from Barcelona, and it's very delicious. It's a little bit hot tonight, so this this brew is not, is light, and it's it's tasting very nice. Should go very beautifully with the um, Tinky's wicked little jalapeno pie. Okay, so the only until you see bubbles around the edges, okay? Do not boil this. You're going to see little bubbles form around the edges. You do not want to boil it. You can stir it around a little bit. You don't want skin either, so. Okay, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, guys, into a bowl, you're going to put five eggs, okay? You want five eggs in this bowl. You're actually making a beautiful um, custard for the center of this pie. It's just so awesome. It's like a paprika custard. Um, it's the most delicious thing. You won't even believe it. It's so. It's a very rich pie, but it's very, um, uh, you know, light and oh my god, it, it just comes out so light and airy with the custard. But uh, it is obviously very rich. It's got a little bit of shell in there. I just want to make sure I get it all out. Okay. All right. Five eggs, okay? Okay. 
So use the organic brown eggs. Okay, there's your five eggs. Can your shells. <clears throat> those up. Okay, okay. Now, what you want to do is grab your milk, your scalded creams, your cream and your half and half. And you're going to add it very slowly because you don't want to cook your eggs, okay? You just want to incorporate this very slowly, constantly whisking so that your eggs do not cook, okay? So you're going to add a little bit at a time. I got this awesome whisk at uh, Restaurant Depot. It's, uh, it's a very heavy duty whisk. It's not a um, uh, it's it's a it's a stiff whisk. It's not a um, how do you call it? You know, like you know the lighter whisks that beat air into everything or into like uh, if you want to make a meringue or something. This is a perfect whisk for this. Okay, most of our, our, almost all of our milk is in. Our eggs have not cooked. So we're doing good. Beautiful. Okay. Now, to this, we're going to add our crumbled bacon. All that beautiful crumbled bacon. going to add your salt. Where's my salt? My salt. <clears throat> Here it is. Okay. Okay. You're going to add one teaspoon of So you want a whole teaspoon of paprika. It's going right in. Beautiful. Whisk a little bit more, get everything blended nicely. So this is like, a, like I said, like a, a paprika and bacon custard. Really beautiful. Really, really, really nice. Okay, that looks really good. It looks perfect, okay? That's what you want. You don't want your eggs hard. You don't want them cooked at all. You just want everything blended really well, just like that. Okay. Don't let your bacon get stuck in your whisk because you want it all in the pie. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, next we're going to take our pie with the cream cheese spread in the bottom and the jalapenos on top. Get everything combined here. Beautiful. And then you're going to take that paprika custard and pour it right into the pie shell. Okay, look at that. Yummy. Look at that. And all your bacon. Everything. Right in. Very nice. It smells so good already. I can't even, I can't even express how yummy that smells. Okay, get everything in there. And there is one more step, and I'll be right back with it. Look at that. Yummy. Okay, actually, we're going to put this in the oven right now as it is for 30 minutes. So that's a 350 oven for 30 minutes, and then I'll show you the final step, okay? 
I'll be back with you in 30 minutes. Okay, guys, after 30 minutes, look at that. It already looks good enough to eat. Um, what I do while I, while I kill those 30 minutes is I do all the dishes that we just made making the dish. So everything's done. <laughs> and then we just have to finish the pie and, and eat it, you know. And this is another pie that you can um, cut into portions and freeze or refrigerate and eat, you know, eat for the entire weekend, the entire week, however you want to do it. The very next step is going to be... Um, you're going to get the artisan, Sargento Artisan um, Authentic Mexican Cheese Blend. I, I think another company makes this too, not just Sargento, but just get a Mexican Cheese Blend. And what you're going to do at this point is sprinkle the entire top of the pie with the Mexican Cheese Blend. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is a cheese lover's dream right here. And if you love spicy jalapenos, again, a dream. Okay, so cover the entire top of the pie with plenty of Mexican blend cheese. Very beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. Smells amazing, too. Right? I mean, it looked good enough. Oh, you can't smell it. <laughs> but, I mean, it looks good enough to eat already. And here we go. Okay. I think that's pretty even. A little bit more over here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Um, put your Mexican blend cheese all over the top. And then arrange your sliced jalapenos on top. I always like to put uh, lucky number 13 on my pie, so I make sure that I can fit 13 perfect little jalapeno slices on top. <laughs> okay, and now what we're going to do is bake this uh, a little bit more just to melt your cheese. It's going to be 12 to 15 minutes in your 350 degree oven, and then it will be done. And I'll show it to you when it's done. I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Love you. Okay guys, there is the finished pie. And what you want to do is leave this sit for about 15-20 minutes before you slice it. Let everything set and cool and uh, I guarantee you will love it. If you love jalapenos, you're going to love this pie. The custard, the um, paprika custard in the center is just beautiful. So that is it guys. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Friday. Uh, salute and tante bella cose.